So for the last month, it became my mission to find the best multi-character lip sync tool. And honestly, I wasn't expecting much since most of the time when you try to get multiple characters talking in the same sentence, something goes wrong. But the tool I'm about to show you actually caught me off guard. The results that I've been generating are looking seriously good, while the process to get these results is quite simple. I mean, let's be honest, we've all seen those videos where one character is talking and the other one looks like they're chewing invisible gum. My name is James, I and welcome to the very first I'm episode of this podcast. To today's topic with you. Or the voices don't match the mouth movements at all. But here are some awesome results that I generated. Here you can see animated child characters having a conversation. Can we go to the swings later? Sure. Let's go grab food with mom and dad first. What I like about this is how natural the timing feels between the responses. Now here you got animated pets, which was interesting. I wasn't sure how well it would handle non-human mouth structures. But look at this. Shh. If we stay low, they'll never know who stole the sandwich. Please. Rookie mistake. I've been stealing lunches since before you were house trained. But today's focus is on realistic human characters. This is usually where things get tricky, but these results look nice as well. So I've generated these videos with the multi-character lip sync feature in Design AI. And honestly, the results have been really good. Sure, not always perfect, but definitely the best results that I've generated with any tool in the market currently. Now I'm going to walk you through the entire process using these two realistic human characters as our main example. And if you're looking to use Design yourself, you can find the link in the description down below. First, I'm starting with character creation within design. I need to click on create new project and I'm going to choose 16 to 9 aspect ratio since I want this to work well for video content. Now I'm going to the text to image section. For this example, I'm making two business professional having a meeting conversation. So for the first character, I'm clicking on the prompt box and I'm going to be very specific. Professional woman in her 30s, business attire, confident expression, sitting at a modern office desk, soft natural lighting from the left, looking slightly to the right, neutral background, high quality, detailed. Now what I learned the hard way is that the lightning and the angle matter way more than you think. If your character is lit from weird angles or facing too far to the side, the lip sync struggles to map the mouth movements properly. And you can how I specify things like looking slightly to the right. That's because for, for example, a conversation, you want your character looking towards each other, not directly at the camera. This creates more natural eye lines when they're in the same scene. Now for the image model, I'm using Design Realistic Free 3 because it handles facial features really well. Now I'm clicking generate, I'm waiting for the results. As you can see, that came out clean, clear facial features, good lighting, and she's looking in the right direction. Now here's something important, before I can use this character in, in scenes, I need to train the AI on her feature. I'm clicking the lightning bolt icon to save her as a consistent character and naming her businesswoman. Here's an advanced tip. When you create characters for lip sync, always generate a few variations and pick the one with the clearest facial features and the most neutral expression. Extreme expressions can interfere with the mouth mapping. So while that's processing, let me show you the inset character process with a different example. So I'm going to insert this cartoon boy into an office background to show you how the character insertion works. So I'm clicking insert character and selecting him from my trained character. See how after inserting the character, I get four different variations to choose from. I can't manually crop or move the character around. The AI generates these variations automatically and I pick the best one. Our business one should be trained by now, so let me create the second character. So I'm going to create the businessman. I'm writing down for this prompt, young professional man, casual button down shirt, friendly demeanor, looking slightly to the left, warm lightning, modern office environment, high quality, detailed. Again, notice I specified looking slightly to the left, so when they're in the same scene, they'll be looking towards each other. And I'm keeping the lightning consistent between the characters. So that's perfect. Both characters have similar lightning conditions and same type of angles. I'm saving this one as a businessman and starting this training process too. So now I need to get both characters into the same scene. So I'm going to use the inset character feature for this. Now first I'm creating a base scene. I'm going back to the text to image and creating a modern office meeting room background. So my prompt for this is modern office meeting room, conference table, large windows, natural light, professional atmosphere, empty chairs, clean and minimal design. So now I can insert my characters. I'm clicking on insert character in the toolbar and I can see my trained consistent characters here. I'm selecting businesswoman first and after inserting her I get these four variations to choose from. I'm picking the one where she positions naturally and the lightning matches the background best. Now another advanced tip is to pay attention to the lighting direction in your background versus your characters. If they don't match, the variations might help, but sometimes you need to regenerate the background. Now I'm adding the second character as well. 
I'm clicking insert character again and I'm selecting the businessman now. Again, I get four variations. I'm choosing the one where his positioning looks natural and his eye line roughly matches up with the woman's. So it looks like they're actually looking at each other. So this is good. This looks like a natural conversation setup. Both faces are clear visible. The lighting matches and their eye lines create the impression that they're talking to each other. But now comes the main event, lip syncing. So I'm going to the lip sync tool in the AI tools menu. I'm clicking pick a face image and I can either upload from my computer or select from canvas. Since my scene is already on the canvas, I'm clicking select from canvas. So look at this, it automatically detected both faces and put boxes around them. This is when the face detection algorithm actually is at work. If it missed a face, I could click mark face manually and draw a box myself around it. Now I can see that it's labeled them as phase one and phase two. I'm clicking on each box to make sure that they're selected and they should turn yellow when they're active. So now I'm going to click next to go to the voice editor. This is where it gets interesting. I can see the timeline at the bottom with tracks for speaker A and speaker B. The image preview is at the top. To save you time and give you another advanced tip, before adding your audio, play around with the timeline zoom control. For longer conversations, zoom out to see the full timeline. For precise timing adjustments, make sure to zoom in. So for speaker A, the woman, I'm clicking pick a voice. I can either use text-to-speech or upload my own audio, but for this case, I'm going with text-to-speech for this example. Now I can see all these different voices available. I'm going to preview a few to find one that matches her appearance. I'm clicking on hope and hitting the preview button. Hey, are you looking for a fresh and engaging voice for your podcast or social media? Then I'm the voice for you. So yeah, that sounds professional and confident, perfect for her character, so I'm selecting that voice. And then I'm going to type her dialogue in the text box, which will be, I think we should consider the long-term implications of this decision before moving forward. If I want, I can adjust the speed here if needed. I'm keeping it at one for natural pacing. And so now I'm going to click generate and play audio. I think we should consider the long-term implications of this decision before moving forward. That's perfect. I can see the audio waveform appeared on the timeline. I can also see the duration, which is about four seconds. But let's say if the generated speech sounds too fast or too slow, don't just adjust the speed slider. Sometimes it's better to regenerate with different punctuation because commas create natural pauses and periods create longer stops. Now for speaker B, the man, I'm clicking pick voice for the second track. I'm going to choose Mark. It sounds professional, but slightly more casual. And his dialogue is, you're absolutely right. Let's break down the potential outcomes and see what we're really looking at here. For his voice, I'm actually going to slow it down slightly to 0.98 because one felt a bit too fast for our natural conversation and so the critical part is the timing i can see both audio tracks on the timeline right now they're overlapping which means that both be talking at the same time so i need to drag the second track to the start after the first one finishes with that i'm clicking and dragging the second audio block and you can see how i can position it exactly where i want now i'm going to leave half a second of a gap between when she finishes and when he starts, this creates the natural conversation pacing. Now, if I want, I can also trim the audio by dragging the edges of the audio block. Sometimes there's extra silence at the beginning or at the end, and that makes the timing feel off. So let me play this back to check if the timing is good. I think we should consider the long-term implications of this decision before moving forward. You're absolutely right. Let's break down the potential outcomes and see what we're really looking at here. So as you can see, that sounds natural. There's good pacing and there's no awkward gaps or overlaps. Now, if you want more natural conversations, vary the gap lengths between speakers. Sometimes people respond immediately, but sometimes they pause to think. This variation makes it feel more realistic. Now I'm clicking confirm to go back to the main lip sync panel and I can see that my phone settings are locked in. So there's a toggle here for pro mode. I'm making sure that that's enabled because it gives me much better results for multi-character scene. So now I'm going to click generate and we're going to wait. I think we should consider the long-term implications of this decision before moving forward. You're absolutely right. Let's break down the potential outcomes and see what we're really looking at here. Now, as you can see, this is really solid. The lip sync is tracking well with the dialogue. Watch your mouth when she says implications. You can see the individual phonemes forming. The I sound, the M and P sounds, even the S at the end. And look at his response. The timing feels natural and his mouth movements match the words. When he says outcomes, you can see the O shape forming, then the T and even the K in the sound. Now let's say if one character's lip sync looks off, but the other one is good, you can regenerate just that person. Go back to the voice editor, adjust only that character's timing or audio and regenerate it. And also let me show you the enhancement feature. I can zoom in and enhance the quality of details. Sometimes when you enhance, you might get weird results like here, 
the woman ended up with some masculine features. But the key here is to generate multiple versions and pick the best one. And so as you know, I've been testing a bunch of different AI tools for this kind of stuff. And honestly, Design AI has been the most reliable for multi-character work. The face detection is solid, you can pick your own voices if you want, but mainly the results are looking good. Plus, they keep adding new features pretty regularly. I've been using it for a few months now for different projects and it's become my go-to for this kind of content creation. If you want to try it yourself, you can click the link in my description down below. So that's how you generate multi-character lip sync videos. Good luck with trying it out yourself and see you in the next video.